Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm going to show you the number one double strategy you can copy to win a lot more matches. Now, this video is courtesy of Matt Lynn on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to his awesome channel. I've put his link in the description below. All right, let's watch the point, and then we'll diagram it. Now, it's a short point, but a lot to learn, and it includes what I would consider the number one double strategy you must copy. So let's first check out how everyone is positioned at the beginning. You know, you'll look at the server's position first. I, I typically like to see the server a little closer to the singles line just to be able to help cover that cross-court ball. But if she's having a lot of success and it's helping her to be able to hit the tee more often, uh, then being a little closer to that singles position is fine, especially if maybe the poacher, you know, the person at the net is being really aggressive and she wants to be able to get behind that player and, and cover more of the ad side. So sometimes players do things and alter their positioning because of strategy that's been happening throughout the match. So I really don't have a, much of, a, of an issue with that actually uh, at all. So you look at the server's partner, they're crouched, they're ready, they're super aggressive and super athletic looking. Make sure that that's what you look like. Same thing on the return, same thing with the returner's partner. Now one thing with the returner's partner, you'll, no, you'll notice she is in the middle of no man's land. And the reason for that is because maybe the returner has been struggling and has been hitting it to the net player, and the net player has just been crushing the ball. So by standing more in the middle of no man's land, then she actually has more time to react for, you know, for, for those shots. I would highly recommend that if you are struggling, let's say your partner is struggling returning serve, maybe the server's uh, you know, hitting just bombs and it's really tough to return, don't feel bad if you need to stand back while your partner is returning serve. That way you have a little bit of cushion in case the returners hit to the net player and the net player slams you. Now the serve comes in. Now I will say this, the, the returner's partner starts moving forward before she sees where the return is hit. So she really should wait in that situation. But she starts going forward. Luckily, the return is hit cross court. And here is where a lob is hit by the server. The server hits a lob really high into the air. And when you are this player, when you are the net player and the ball is behind you, anytime you're at the net and the ball is behind you, you need to look at the opposing net player because that's the first person who can hurt you. So the ball goes up and she notices, so the player in blue here notices that the opposing net player is looking up. So she says, uh-oh, <laughs> this is going to be an overhead. And what should she do? She should start backing up. And that's exactly what she does. She starts backing up because she's assuming that the ball is actually going to be hit to her. And that's what I'm actually going to tell you is the number one double strategy. If there's one change you can make in your tennis game, it would be that when you are hitting overheads, that you do not hit the overhead to the baseliner or the person closer to uh, sorry, farther from you, you want to hit the overhead toward the person closer to you. Now, you're not trying to hurt them. You're not trying to even hit them with the ball. What you're trying to do is hit the ball to their half of the court. So you're trying to hit the ball to the half of the court where the person closer to you is standing. They have less time to react. It's going to be more difficult for them to get that ball into play. And this is exactly what the overhead or what the net player does. She hits the overhead at the player or toward the player who's closer to her, and she ends up missing the shot. The ball actually goes wide. Now, I do want to show you one thing about the baseliner. Remember this player who she lobbed the ball up into the air? I want you to notice, let's go back to her lob. I want you to notice where she moves. Look at the baseliner who hit the lob. Do you see where she's moving? She is moving toward the center. This is so smart because she's, empathizing, right? She's putting herself in the net player's shoes, the overheader shoes, and she's saying, you know what? Where would I hit the ball if I was the person hitting the net? And that's actually why this player is moving back as well. She's moving back going, uh-oh, I'm probably going to be you know, picked on because I have less time to react. So it's very apparent that these two players are very smart and they understand, and, and this player is very smart too, because she, they all know where this ball should go. And the overhead should be hit 
to the net player. Now, the baseliner moves over just in case the ball goes past the net player and she can kind of get in behind there and play the ball. But the ball is hit to the outside, which is actually a smart play, away, you know, what I mean by the outside is to the outside of that player, not toward the inside where the baseliner could move over and get it. She hits it slightly to the outside. The player moving back cannot react and ends up hitting the ball out. One last thing, you'll notice the partner of the overheader. This partner is moving forward. When you see your partner at net hitting an overhead, preparing to hit an overhead, and you're behind the baseline, move forward. Start going forward because staying back is just going to let these players off the hook. So you want to move in. And that way, you know, if we just look at the, the subsequent shot, if that ball had actually gone over the net, she's right here. This player in the black outfit is right there to be able to be aggressive and, and, and end the point. So I absolutely love this point. But if you could make one change in your doubles play, and then, and then we'll watch the point again. If you can make one change in your doubles, it would be that when you get a high volley, when you get an overhead, that you pick on the person closest to you. Again, you're not trying to hit them with your shot. You're just trying to hit the ball to their half of the court because they have less time to react. You, If you're playing dodgeball, right? You know the game dodgeball where you throw a ball at someone and you try to get them out of the game? You don't pick the person farthest from you. You look for who's close to you with less time to react. It's the exact same thing. Overheads need to be hit toward the person or to the side of the court where the person closest to you is. I will tell you this. Start noticing and looking around when there's doubles going on. Watch how often the ball is actually hit to the baseliner. You know, players often in doubles think, oh, I'm going to hit the ball to the open court. There's very little open court. So what you want to win, especially like on an overhead and, and high volley. So instead of looking for open court, like in singles, look, because there's a lot more open court in singles, look for the player with less time to react. And instead of hitting winners, you know, and trying to hit sharp angles, just force an error, which is exactly what she did. Forcing an error is really the number one way to win a point. All right, let's watch this point again. And uh, just with how short it is and how quick it is, we'll watch it two or three times. But it just, it's so cool to see all these things in slow motion, but try to notice these things at real time. So the next time you're playing doubles and you get a high ball, you get a high volley, you get an overhead, aim for the person closer to you. And if you do, there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.